you know what I was just asking do you understand her, what I mean I was mean? just asking her because I think it was important for me anyway to find out why which I know but I still just wanted to just hear people yeah. talk about it anyway like why they were offended by the hair thing that, <laughs> that Kim because do you know what yeah I'm going to be honest with you as well from the get go like this year there's a lot of things I feel like I need to just unlearn in my mind mm. innit? and like when I see some things I can't help but these. there's times where sometimes I just see certain <coughs> things and I can't help but to have a certain type of reaction because of the way that I have been installed as a man, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, so what was you feeling like when I f and no, and I want to make and I want I want to make this clear as well, yeah. Like I feel like I was raised proper. Like I come from a good home. Me and my mum have a oh, great yeah. relationship. Do you know what I mean? Like we have a lot of conversations about stuff. But see, when you're out on the road and you're around certain man and you're around certain people and you have certain conversations or whatever, I feel like there's a certain thing or certain things that just can be installed in you without even realizing in it. Mm -hmm. So like, I'll give you an example. Sometimes when I see women um, talking about like feminism and like some of the stuff that men do or whatever, there's a part of me where like, I have my back up a bit, just a little bit. Cause I think rah, like you're just trying to diss man. Like not all men are like that. Mm -hmm. But then I have to take a step back and think, now nah, hold on a minute. I actually just need to just listen. Because I'm just attacking, like someone will say something to me and I'll just respond. Nah, because no, like I think like this or this is what it is or whatever. And I'm having a conversation where I'm just responding, but I'm not listening in it. Mm -hmm. So when this Kim thing came with the hair stuff, I did a little research. I'm looking at the girl that she's saying that she is the Bo, what's her, Bo Derek or whatever. And the first thing that came to my head was, I don't particularly see the big deal because she looks like this girl. Like she looks like her. But then I realized, no, hold on a minute. Like maybe she's talking in a way where she's acting as though this lady is the lady who inherited braids. But then I think- Did she surely, say that though? But this Did is what I'm, think, this this is is what I'm saying, yeah. Braids. Surely she can't be that stupid. Of course she's that stupid. Right. What yes, makes you think is. that Kim Kardashian has anything other than stupid? But I just, how can you be <laughs> that? Someone <laughs> gave her a picture and said, this is how we're going to do your hair today. And she said, cool, this is how we're going to do my hair today. Or she gave the picture to someone and said, oh, she gave the I picture. You would have thought that no, Kanye would have. Oh, oh, boy, please. bye. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Hey. I mean, what, you think that they sleep in the same bed, did it? <laughs> you think they sleep in the same bed? He's got his... what day of the week it is. Oh. You think that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West sleep in the same bed? No, that's an arrangement. Could it not? Like, could it just not be possible? It's an arrangement. It is now. No. You think that Kim Kardashian? I don't know the same how much Kanye arrangement. Oh, what, do you think it's an arrangement? They had a whole surrogate child, and you think that they still sleep in the same bed? That's a good argument, still. He don't see my girl. You can't do this with They just step out, paparazzi, wear my clothes, bust my clothes. Do my TV program. You yeah. think they wake up next to each other? Do like in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> You're kind of mad. <laughs> but but you know time. what? I also <laughs> say all of that to say this. Yeah, like I do. I have noticed is that like, yeah, a lot of people, especially black girls, don't get a lot of credit for what it is that they do, and people will usually then credit someone else, mm -hmm. like the, I don't know what is it, the external or the the in between part as opposed to just saying yes, like, this is the person, or these are the people, do you get me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah. when you, like, sorry, I should not be you. I feel happy. like there's so many things about being a black woman that even we forget. Like, e okay, twerking is such a p prime example. If I twerk, it looks a whole. Li uh, it looks completely different to when someone else has decided. Oh, there's this thing that we saw. Oh, let's make a. Let's do a, a whole studio about it. And we're gonna have weekly sessions on how to twerk, and it gets rated because it's in a different color. But if I do it, it's not the same. Those mm. are the things I'm talking about. It's like, like I was, I was using the example of being like, if 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 everyone decided that Indian culture was now the thing now, I mean, you're walking around with sari and we're doing loads, but we don't want to credit Indian girls. Well, no, isn't it? You can't do that. It's not fair. Mm. You can't take that away from it. And then what? Mm. It's funny though, because you say that, yeah, but I don't see black people do that anyway. 
mean? Like, as when it comes to like cultural appropriation, I only ever see it like from white people. Yeah, I so don't do I. See, that's what I mean. We've got to the point like, where you said like, that, and I'm like, oh, raw. Like, yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, actually, I've not, I've not seen that. I've no, not seen it. No one claims Maybe, it. I've just not seen it. Maybe because there's no like public outrage about it. There isn't. Yeah. Yeah. I see yeah. the things that they're public outrage about. Mm. Can't be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. But don't about anyone else. Like you, Chucky. But the thing is, yeah, you talk. You say like credit. At first, at first, because we're tired, bored. You say like credit, yeah, like for the Kim Kardashian thing, yeah. But remember, like when I first learned about Bridget, it was like the conversation that I was, I was having was about like when people was in the plantations and they used to yeah, like braid hair to show the way out the plantations and that's why yeah. there's all these patterns and designs yeah mm. who's telling kim kardashian this so like she's so not, who's she's whose not... fault is that what do you mean if she doesn't know that whose fault Ours. is it if she's coming out and saying rah yeah like i'm doing Bo Derek braids today but whose this is the fault thing. why, do you, that why do, do you say fault though like it's a bad thing like she's done a hairstyle so do you not think yeah but this is that's that's the point that i'm trying to get at because you're saying, you're asking me, uh, like, why am I saying fault like it's a bad thing? But when I'm looking at the reaction, Outrage. it's, yeah, it's, it's deemed as it is a bad thing. She credited the person whose style she replicated. Yeah. Like it was the exact style. She wasn't crediting the person who created braids. Yeah. She was crediting this style. Like, if I do a picture now of Rihanna, if I do a picture of Rihanna, and it, like, I've got the same hairstyle as Rihanna and whatever, and I say Rihanna, uh, is everyone going to attack me because 10 yeah. years ago some black women in a plantation made the same no, but hairstyle no they're, not gonna, no they're not going to they're not going to do it to me because I'm black because you're but we're going to do it to Kim Kardashian because she's white but the thing about Kim Kardashian is we all we knew what you came here for we know why you exist on this earth what you came here for and it was for that like it was for this exact thing that like I'm going to do what I want with whatever culture I want to mm. do it with and I'm going to I'm going to break the internet Mm. And I saw loads of people saying like, oh, Beyonce came fully dressed and broke the internet, all cute Kim Kardashian, naked braids, et cetera, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. It's that, that, that's what it is. Like one person can't do something about her saying, actually, I want this light. And yeah, that's this is nothing what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's this nothing exactly new. What What's saying. good about it is that right. previously there wasn't be any, any outrage about it. Previously people would be like, oh yeah, Kim Kardashian, here we go again. Mm. This time it's like, no, we want to pick at the fact that she's naked. We want to pick at the fact of her hair. We want to pick at everything because actually we're just sick of this. Yeah. We're sick mm. of the Kardashians. Yeah. Like we're sick of this. So Bo Derek actually tweeted, I forgot. I saw this earlier. She was like, hey, it's just a hairstyle that I wore in the movie. Kim Kardashian calls it the Bo Derek because she copied my pattern of braids. But I copied it from Anne Margaret's backup singer from her Vegas show. And we all copied it from Queen Nefer- Nefertiti. Ugh. Oh my God, Nefertari. this is all wrong. Like, who cares? I like, hope her Royal Highness is flattered, yeah? <laughs> you got my girl out here explaining I'm... why she did her hair one day. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. in the person. <laughs> so, but that's, that's, that, that's what the, is it? This is the thing. This is crazy. That's the cynical part in me a bit. Because that's how I looked at it. <laughs> I'm looking at it like... Yeah, I don't get it twisted. I do get it. But I think, are we really going mad because of how she did her hair one day? No, they're being mad because of who she credited. That's I, why people... Okay. I think it's a whole heap of things because I now I break it down, I'm not really that oh, no. bothered about just, her hair. Do you know what it is? It's not so much about Kim Kardashian, though. I think it's about... I think it's about the lack of credit the that Bria? black women get, though. Yeah. The That's what the Bria conversation is. Who's Bria Mars? Big the, Tobes painting that Bria Mars Instagram yeah, model. basically yeah. yeah and she put up this picture and was talking about um why is it that I know right just literally about to load in five <laughs> four <laughs> the struggle <laughs> the struggle Two. I bet this doesn't happen to Kim Kardashian I bet you yeah, her doesn't. phone is just like yeah, connected yeah, yeah. to She's Wi-Fi 24 <laughs> 7 she with can her post anyway. votes. what is it you're trying to show the picture of Bria where she's put a picture of her naked and then the picture not naked but yeah. backside out and the picture of Kim and her thing is rah so I get reported Rihanna gets reported everyone else gets reported that's black but she can do it send that to Callum as well or send yeah, it to if we can or well, I can just like we can just I don't, I don't know if this is that deep for your mouths. <laughs> 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 I don't know if it's that deep. I need deep. that picture so I can, yeah, so I can do something with it. But you know I what? Mean, she's right. All of this she's goes right. into like, because you know what it is, yeah? We're just, we're just angry all the time. like, And we're just angry all the time. Well, yeah, let's yeah, go, to, right, my ne- let's right, go to my next thing because mm. like I know we are supposed it to seems do. like, oh yeah, we're just talking about Kim, yeah? But this leads to just bare different conversation, isn't it? Because... Even I've got even 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 in my Sorry. notes there, yeah, that you're saying that we're angry all of the time, and there's always this thing about like the black angry, angry black women. women. I'm here for angry the angry black, black women. women. Me too. And like, I'm on it now. Fuck it. You can call me angry. Anyway. I've never been on it. It's never been like. <laughs> been <angry. laughs> it's never been a thing that I've said. Like I've never said, ah, oh, like, ah, oh, she's a fucking angry black girl woman. or whatever or woman. But like, it's always been there. Man, them have always said it. I've even, I've heard people say that about you a lot, Sian. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like you're just vexed. Yeah, I claim it. 
Yeah. <laughs> She's it. just vexed. Yeah. She's not easy Sometimes, enough. No. Not but then I think now, but hold on a minute. No. Like, because the thing is, if you don't stand for something, like you'll fall for anything. Do you get me? And when I came out, it was what me and Julie and who else? Yeah. So everything was like, was like, wow, like everything was a moment. Everything we ever did. Like sometimes I look back at things and I think, why was this a moment? Like everything yeah. was a moment. So it's like, right, I'm kind of the only person standing for me, or Julie standing for me, or vice versa. So you got like you spend so long defending yourself that it just becomes second nature to the point where when there are say like a hundred black women doing what I do or doing what Julie does or just doing what we do, like if everybody's being nice and kiki key and you're still on this like nah do you get me there weren't mm. social media there weren't this there weren't that so this is the attitude that i've had you're gonna keep that attitude but mm. I, I have no regrets <laughs> serious yeah i have no regrets i don't think you should either and it's funny because i, I think that things... like i think that a lot of the time when people say that it comes from a place of a person being strong so i see like when someone says oh they're angry or they're just not easy or whatever a lot of the time it's just it comes down to you being a strong person mm -hmm. and people not really wanting to deal with someone who has an opinion or who has or, or or can articulate themselves in a way that makes them feel uncomfortable yeah you have to be able to like justify your outrage yeah. like some people i see some people just get angry and they make videos constantly mm -hmm about things they're angry about and i think why though like why mm -hmm. are you angry like you, you've said what the problem is like i've seen this and it's made me angry but you haven't really gotten into why there should be outrage and why like as a community or as people as human beings black white pink yellow green we should be upset about this so there are people who literally know like okay cool the best way to get attention is just to, to, to just trigger mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah 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 and i and see that it's, just, <laughs> it's like the kim kardashian thing like you're just triggering people like it's no, like the daily you're just triggering people like you're all just it's, it's all triggers like you've gone and done this and you've seen that there's been a negative response before you come back and say something because Kim you've made my girl go and say something for you like yeah. it's, you've realised right this is triggering so I'm going to like keep on doing this like this is a thing now like yeah. it's just triggering but unless you can say like this is why I'm angry this is what my outrage is about then you're just triggering but for me it's like and probably for you as well like, I'm allowed to be angry yeah 100% yeah, yeah, yeah. but I just okay, need to be able to articulate to people that might not understand okay, why I'm angry I don't have an angry I don't get angry very easily because no one I don't care about anyone like, and that, I mean that in the nicest way possible. Yeah. There are so many people that think they mean a lot. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, I'm friendly. Yeah. But you care about your child. Oh, uh, that is You care is about like, what your child's going to see. Right. And you care about what your child's going to say. But to I'm talking like Madeline. even yeah. the, in the last couple of months, there's people, especially in this industry, that think they are my friend. You're not my friend. I'm cool with you because I, I'm a cool person. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's yeah. as far as it goes. Like even because I've seen, because I'm so friendly, I get myself into situations where I'm like, okay, you're not my best friend. Like, you're not, mm -hmm. yeah, I, got yeah. my, I got my G's mm -hmm. yeah. from when I was 15, shooting in the gym for real. You lot ain't, so, I, and I can see people's energy and stuff and I'll do kiki kiki. It's mm -hmm. not a problem. You're not my friend though. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what happened. Like where everyone's like, oh, but oh, Cyan's mm -hmm. angry, this, like, Naja's, off no see I'm funny I'm, you know what? i don't come out because i don't want to pretend the nail on the head of of like of how i feel yeah that that is the nail on the head of how i feel because the reason why i get called angry black women a lot is because people will come into the industry they'll do five or six things and then think that yeah. they've got to sign anderson pass like okay. she should automatically know who i am yeah if she sees me at a put, rave put it on or the, yeah. i follow her on twitter out she should say hi at the rave she yeah. should follow back on twitter but you know if what? she doesn't do these things she's rude oh i sound not like me she's too I've nice i've seen her she yeah. say hello i followed her and mm -hmm. i followed and followed mm -hmm. her. she's still like earn you earn your right like you might have done 10 things i might but not have seen it okay but I, I hear that and i get you yeah but what has the black got to do with it then because, because the black a... by being the angry black person mm -hmm. yeah just off the basis of that People are like, like, all different types of people are like that. So then where does the, where, like, why the angry black woman? I don't though? necessarily think that the black woman part fits into that in specific. That, okay. like, that's like, well, so where that's does, just where... more for like standing for something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that angry black woman came from the man, if I'm honest with you. I've never been called an angry black woman by another, angry, by another black woman. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no, a sign ain't never come to be like, you know what? <laughs> you angry black woman, me too, hey. I've never had that. I've had it from black men mm. all day long. Well, some people will say it, it. some I'm people will say it comes race. from it oppression, from innit? Some people will say it comes from oppression. When you look at like the, when you look at the oppressive scale, yeah, and you say, okay, we all know that like, generally on a general scale that women are the most oppressed. Mm -hmm. But within that, you would say black, black women, women are even more so. That's right. Mm -hmm. I even heard like a friend of mine. She wasn't even. She didn't do this on purpose. Like, so this didn't come from a bad place. But she was talking about. Um, like going to Dubai and doing some work out there or whatever. And like, she's not, she's not black. She's um, Mediterranean, 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 <laughs> Mediterranean, Mediterranean, <laughs> Mediterranean, yeah. But 
she was saying, yeah, like when I go there, like I can go and I can speak to this guy and because I, I look a little bit Habibi, like they'll kind of slide me through. And I thought, right, you don't even realise how much of a privilege that is mm-hmm. because I'd never hear, I could never hear a black girl say, mm-hmm. do you know what, yeah? Like, because I, I can go into this place mm-hmm. and because I look a little bit like, mm-hmm. I might get a bring true. Mm-hmm. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? So I think that like, the black anger, are the the bo- anger the comes the from, barrel. that's what it is. Does We've the anger come from there. like, I don't know, I'm trying to understand that because people always talk know, about this. Okay, in, in a man's defence, yeah, just in, in the defence of black men, and I've been saying this for, for a long time, maybe I have not said it publicly, maybe just like in my friendship circle, but in my opinion, if you're a black man, you get to, what, 21, yeah, you've got two options. One is you're going to go uni, end up in a load of debt. The second one is you're going to go and do road and you're going to end up dead or you're going to end up in jail. Yeah, but in our family homes and the way that we've been brought up and just in tradition, we're expected to get to a certain age, we're expected to date. Mm-hmm. Do you get me? We're expected to spend a certain amount of time dating, get mm-hmm. married, have kids, etc. Mm-hmm. So we're all turning 21, like in this age of social media or whatever, and we're looking at man as women, mm-hmm. and it's like, right, you can't say you got me because you're about to go and do road and be dead or in jail, or you're gonna go uni, and then by the time you're 25, you're gonna be in debt. So you can't come to me. So I know as a woman at 21, I've got to do 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, mm-hmm. plus little ones. more on mm-hmm. my ones before a man can really come and say to me mm-hmm. i've got you because as a man man is man you don't want to come and say to me yeah i've got you when you know you don't yeah mm-hmm. so you're going to be mm-hmm. doing kiki key and messing around and messing around till you think you have and that's going to be two roots like i said you're going to go to do the uni thing and try and get a job at 25 and be in debt and pay back debt and hold up woman and have baby and marriage and mm-hmm. all these things and have a house mm-hmm. impossible or you're going to go and do road in which case you're going to need me anyway because you need me to turn your piece straight like there's not many options for a man so if you're growing up like that and you're thinking raw like i've seen my parents do it my grandparents do it like, i'm supposed to be a man i'm supposed to have this woman mm-hmm. the woman's going to be like right you ain't got me do you get me all that you're going to see from us is anger like some women will just be like okay cool i understand your situation i understand your struggle Mm -hmm. so i'm just going to be here sit idle and wait and do my thing until you're ready but some women are going to be like right like i'm looking around in my community and man they ain't got me but you got your brethren when when your brethren calls you to go and do roads you got your brethren do you feel me like there's not many options there aren't many options so when you say it's coming from a black man it's because the black man is looking at us as you're angry because yeah we've been angry yeah but then if you've been that submissive then you're submissive and you get taken for a mug anyway so then you're angry do you feel me so we got like, exactly. I, I, I you have to understand cool. why it may come from exactly. the man. Yeah, they yeah. ain't got much choices. Do you get me? And it goes back to what you were saying about being a strong woman. As black women, we're expected, we're expected to, to be, be strong, strong and to hold it down and to be in a certain place and be ready for when a man potentially does say, yeah, cool, like I've got you. But by that point, we're what, 26, 27? Like we've got our own. Mm-hmm. <laughs> by yeah, that time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's too late. So you're you're saying, you don't have to. No, but then are like, oh, these women think they're too independent. Yeah, that's right. I don't want it. That's right. And it's a vicious cycle. And you're like, it's a vicious cycle. Some of that has got that's got to do with us in it, like yeah, a little bit. Like you know, we take a little bit longer to grow up and get serious as well, I suppose. Um, Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's like. It's awful. It is awful. It is awful. It is. <laughs> I don't it think is. it's your fault. Not your fault. It's the There's system, but it does fall on Not us. Yeah, but do you know what I will say I feel is is our fault a little bit, yeah? Is that, like, I feel that we have allowed that stereotype of the angry to black woman off, for to too throw long. Off a woman. Yeah. I genuinely yeah. feel that. Yeah. Because, do you know what, yeah? Anytime now I'm having conversations because I'm asking a lot more questions. And I think when, when I saw you at Radar that time, I said the same thing. I'm like, I'm asking more questions. I'm trying to listen a little bit more mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. But like, when like I'm chatting around like certain man or whatever and I'm hearing some of the things they're coming out with, mm. yeah, I've noticed that like, I'm usually the only one in the group saying, but nah, like, that's a stereotype. Though. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not, that's not true. Mm-hmm. But then before, prior to me doing that, there was no one really saying shit. Mm. There was no one saying that. So yeah. after years, after years of hearing conversations like that, I think subconsciously you just have certain things in your head and you just get used to just accepting them. Mm-hmm. So anytime now, you can have two, you can have all these different types of women that have the same trait now, for example. They could be all fiery, but I have a name for the angry black woman. Yeah. In my experience, in my experience as a man, I'll be honest with you and say the most fiery women I've ever met are Spanish women. But anytime I ever say yeah. to my bridge in Ra, yeah. I've m- I met this Spanish thing, yeah. in his head, all he can see is the piffiest thing. <laughs> yeah. And he cut, that's it. Yeah. Let me see a picture. You get me? Yeah, Straight away, yeah, 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 I met this Spanish thing. So yeah. All he wants to see is a picture. If I say, Ra, yeah, I met this black thing. In his mind, he's just speaking. Oh, yeah. man, well, it's not like exotic, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, exciting. Yeah, it's like, it's they're not. Big, the, the Latin women stereotype, their biggest stereotype before the, the fiery attitude one is the 
sensual. Yeah, yeah. She's just yeah. red. I can just see bare red over there, and it? it's just like passion and. She's yeah. beautiful and all mm-hmm. of that. That's like the stereotype that goes. And we're just at the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And this is what I'm saying. And I, I really feel Ooh. like, you know, like the, I remember when Serena Williams, even, all right, even Rihanna. Rihanna ain't dating no black man. Serena Williams ain't dating no black man. Like Beyonce is, but he's so cheating God. on her. Do you know listen, what I mean? And I, I'm telling you, listen, I've tried and I just, I don't know. But no, I just shout, shout out to the big joke. homie Jay, Jay though, man. I mean, he did a little one thing. Yeah, he did a little one He's the perfect example of what Cyan's talking about. Okay. Like where Beyonce's grown up and is 12 years younger than him or whatever like they're near enough at the same mental age and she's yeah. had to do all she, she's gone this way doing all of this and he's I don't care what anyone says they're not goals for me no. I don't look at them and think yeah no, Beyonce's no. done no, well, that no. he's just I see, just, like, he's just the best of, of a bad bunch like couples none of them would be goals no I've, Will Smith and Jada are goals to me 100%. I don't think so. I'm, I'm on it I heard like, they were having open relationships I'm yeah. kind of on it I'm kind of on it too I'll be honest with you like I don't know about open relationship but maybe open sexual I'm boy your, if you're my husband and we're Will and Jake, I'm cool with that. I don't mind. What do you I'm mean? What are you, you talking about? I don't are you think the in... open relationship is such a bad thing. No, I need oh, what? Like, are you talking I about bringing people worst. in? I don't... Are you talking no, about... Yeah, just, but just only in your just... bedroom. Not oh, like, okay. oh, I'm going to base... No, you're not. You Obviously, you're married. Oh, okay. Here. I hear you. But I hear if, that still. If there's a couple extra people in the bedroom once a month, I don't think that's a bad idea. I hear that. Like... That's what that low anyway, but back to my point. So, uh, Rihanna, she's not dating no black man. When Serena Williams ended up with her guy, eh, oh my days, you see the amount of black men. Oh my dad, shut up. Because when we're bottom, oh, she's too strong. She a whole common. This woman dated a whole common, yeah, common. You're the rapper, common. Yeah, yeah. Ho- are your eyes still green, girl? Fucking yeah, yeah. poet of the year, but you wouldn't marry her, but why? Because th- it's almost like black women, get, we're like bottom of the, but before there's all, everything else, it, even in work environments, everything else, the reason why Julie and Cyan had to be so headstrong and not be ee, ee kiki kiki, they wouldn't, got, they wouldn't have got to where they got if they were being nice. Because before everything, there's white man, Indian man, this, that, 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 white, black, the black woman's at the bottom, yeah. always. And, and it's the same when men are looking at, like I hear my brother talk and he's like, yeah, yeah, but imagine I saw this black thing today in Tottenham, oh my God. And I was like, why is she a rarity? <laughs> like what the hell? What have you never seen a pretty black girl? But he's just—it's like yeah, it's but over that, his you know head, what? isn't yeah, it? Because that, we don't get celebrated the way a Latina yeah. girl does. That was the same, same with Somalian girls. That was the same with Somalian girls as well. Is it changing though? Is it no. swinging back no. towards black girls like in the last year? I think that from my experiences, yeah. I feel that it is changing a bit. Do you, do you agree? I think to it's changing, but I think the struggle is different now. I think the struggle is within black women. Yeah. Because yeah. I think that, like, for me, because yeah. I've got, like, I'm St. Lucian, I've got more, like, Caribbean features or more European features, even. Yeah. So, and, and so have you. Yeah, actually. so we don't have that same, so but I see we, it. The struggle's there, but it's a different struggle when it comes to media. It's like, out of all these colours of women with all these facial expressions, actually, let's pick this one yeah. and this one because I'm this the is token. closest. Yeah. This is mm. closest token black girls. to what they know. Do you okay. get me? And at one point, yeah. I even had the the, the, the blonde hair and yeah, yeah, and that. yeah, did that Do too. You get me? So, so now it's like an internal struggle of like, okay, cool. Like, this is a dark skinned woman. This is a lighter skinned woman. This girl's bigger. This girl's yeah. like, there's still I still well, even down to the black, whole Steph London thing. I see black, that, right? That's what we're doing. I see it's black, a colorism but I, yeah, 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 that's yeah. Well, well, me, But I think it's inter- like I don't I don't see it as much now as outside of the black community. Yeah. I see it as right. This stuff that we got to deal with inside. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See that Steph London thing, yeah. Yeah. The reason why that was mad to me, it was so many reasons why it was mad to me, yeah. But one of them was like people, the people that was attacking her for saying that or not saying it, whether she said it or not. Yeah. There was a time in our lives, yeah, where we felt like that. A hundred. We felt like right. I'd like to be a, a couple shades lighter because 100%. the color that we are, people mm. are just not respecting us. Mm. People 100%. are not. I tried to date a white boy when I was in primary school. He kicky keyed off to the blonde girl very quickly. <laughs> Do you get me? Like I learned <laughs> very early on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, Do you know yeah, like yeah. that? Yeah. And then I got older and I'm on BBC and all of a sudden like oh yeah, Zaya. Yeah. Do you know like that? Like and she's married to a white person like. It's been it's been like that where you sit there and you think, oh, do you know what? Maybe I I, I would want to be a couple mm-hmm. shades later. And it's only since like, okay, cool, we got social media now. Like, if you step on social media now in this day and age, yeah, yeah. the first person you're gonna want to follow is the slum flower, and you're gonna learn straight yeah. away that black yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. Then you're gonna follow the people that slum flower retweets, and you're gonna. Sh- so you're on the timeline now, seeing Steph London, thinking I've known since 
Twitter yeah. that Black is Beautiful so like, what's this girl talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. but before that era of social media not just social media but just like lifestyle mm-hmm. there's a whole era of maybe us that was that like was actually like yeah that. we was at school and yeah. our head and was like right, can I just say can I just say your thesis because she and actually, didn't own it but there needs to be but there needs, yeah. that, but there needs to be like an unlearning process in that of people going actually yeah do you know what she said this and, it, and it's distasteful Ooh, she didn't say it whatever but there was a time where, yeah, we did feel like this. So let's talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. the fact that Steph did feel like that at that time. Yeah. And Steph should have been a champion, but she should have come out and been like, yo, no, this is Because that, open, that opens up good dialogue. It opens yeah. up what I'm saying? good. But that only I think, look, that, I think, because you're right in a sense that, and you know, that you felt like that at a point. I think maybe the outrage came from the delivery in how it was said. Do you get me? Mm-hmm. And like, I'm oh, a firm man. believer that like, you know, later on in life you can change. Mm-hmm. So I don't really want to, we've had, me and poets had these conversations many a times about like old tweets or whatever. And I have to keep the same energy and say, you know what? I have to give a person a, the benefit of the doubt. If that, they come if forward. They, if they can right. come forward, exactly. That, that, you get what the I'm problem saying? is with, with Steph is that I'm I'm actually quite pleased the, the tweet come out because there's about half a million of us that actually still think like that. Mm-hmm. Steph is a prime example of the what we've created i don't care we can't like, like i've created that somehow by not by not telling a light-skinned friend of mine or a darker-skinned friend of mine that there is no colorism there guys have have contributed to that by treating her differently mm-hmm. her parents we have all done that steph is just the person who's at the top that's said it okay all of five years ago the problem is number one she didn't own it i appreciate it and i get why she if didn't she said it she's saying she didn't say it but so someone hacked her in 2000 well whatever we don't know let's, i don't know i'm yeah, saying right. she, just like stormzy and it stormzy owned it bruh yeah. back then that's what we were on in it yeah, yeah, yeah. we were that's what we were saying mm. that's not me right now do you know yeah. what i mean i get so that's the main issue that i know of of girl, well not girls all big on big old women now women are like yo she should have just said she she said it number yeah. one and number two, it's not about, oh, they're, everyone's beautiful and black now. No, it's it's the truth, babes. Like, the lighter skinned you are in the mm. industry she's even in, mm. like, the more you you gain. And it's it's not something that, like you said, we should shy away from. Yeah. It is an internal issue. It there like- are days where I know somewhere in my mind, like, I, I actually, I need to reference this. I forgot about this. So I was dating a guy, dark skinned guy, about a while ago. And he said to me, we were talking, and I've got, I'm not... Um, I don't know everyone's like oh you're not Caribbean I'm not Caribbean but we've got Lebanese Sierra Leonean on one side okay. and Jamaican Sierra Leonean on the other side but I'm bang smack in the middle like I'm fully okay I'm not fully but I'm like Sierra Leonean that's my yeah. angle I don't really get involved with all the mixes so anyway we're talking and he said to me something was asking about where I'm from and I told him yeah one half of my family is Lebanese and he said I'm not going to lie to you that's made you 30% more attractive wow now I'm a dickhead <laughs> Yeah, oh, wait, what? Did, was you, did that make you feel sweet? Head. Did that make because, you feel sweet? Because uh, I have to be so real with myself. One half of my head was like, because my hair, like Cyan's yeah. hair, like we're not that, we're not, we're your, your Europeanized black girl, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, when I go in the shower, my real hair curls up and it's not, yeah. and I don't have a bigger nose and I don't have particularly African features. I'm really proud when I say I'm African because a lot of people were like, oh, you look Caribbean. And you know why you're saying that? Because of my complexion, because I don't have what a typically African nose or a typically African name. You look at someone African and you think they're less attractive as a black person than someone Caribbean. Mm. I know that. I'm not scared to say that. That's something that needs to come to the forefront so that we can undo all of that like you said all that unlearning anyway my man said it and i was like i did that i didn't even know i didn't and i didn't pull him up on it um because so you don't know I'm whether saying. to be gassed yeah yeah, yeah right yeah right. see and but this is my thing so this is why i'm saying yeah this is why i'm saying this is why this is why that could be a problem this is why this is why these are this is why things like that is a problem yeah because people just don't nick things in the bud straight away so imagine he did a stuff and tweeted out like raw imagine my my thing was like that's my fault because i haven't i haven't told him but having said that yeah I don't feel like I don't know him, but yeah. I don't feel like he meant it like that. But that's the, it's still a problem, saying? though. So if someone that's tells me they're from Madagascar, that's a subconscious like, thing. Because that? <laughs> that's just rare. Yeah, but that's a yeah, but that's a no, subconscious. Yeah. It's a subconscious it, thing as I, it well. It made though. me thirty percent more attractive. Yeah, yeah, but I think he just worded no. his words. No, he said no, more that's the problem. This is our problem. Our problem is that in our mind, we just don't even because I know what you mean. I know exactly. Interesting. That's made you more interesting. Yeah, Now I want to talk about. But yeah, intrigue. But that is something that is. Oh, that's something didn't that's been put in our mind. Lebanon after that, you know, man don't want to know what our cultural food dish is. He didn't care. <laughs> but as in, but do you know what I'm saying? Say, like, what for you example, saying about, you get it? It's not like you was on. It's not like you was on profile pic. Like he's seen you, so it's not like 
it literally no, made you more saying, attractive. If you said to me, but, if you said to me, I'm half Scottish, I'd be like, "Rah, what? Your mum's name's what?" Because I'm genuinely interested to find yeah, out. Yeah, what yeah. Your, yeah, yeah, man yeah. did not ask about yeah. Kebe. He did not yeah, ask yeah, about yeah, anything nothing, to do. Nothing. He didn't, he didn't know even ask looked, if that man. side were Muslim. You don't care. Yeah. You just thought, <laughs> "Rah, my, yeah, my yeah, girl's yeah, brown yeah. with a little if bit of Lebanese. My kids could be a bit. That's what you're thinking. That's what you're thinking. And guess what? I'm a dickhead because I was like, "You didn't pull him up." Oh, yeah. And then I was like. Ah, how do I? I was like, shit, and I just went quiet. Now the colorism thing and I'm is not real a quiet though, because person. Yeah. do you know what? Like, just on the last thing of the Steph thing, in my head, I was thinking that I deeped it the same way that you lot did. I'm thinking this has obviously come from a place that she knows that's how black girls were thinking, and like I follow her and on she's Snap. Had that experience. So I follow her I on Snap. I see loads of black girls around her and stuff. I know that she's got people that's very close to her mm-hmm. that is black, which then made me think, oh, hold on a minute. So are these people just new people that are in your life? Or are there people that are these people been there from however long that you've been around? Which then makes me think, right, like you had that opinion with these people around you. That's mad to me. But then clearly this has got to be a conversation that's got to be had in the house to make someone think that that is what black girls or even would have, worse, or dark skinned girls would have wanted to do. that she's had. Yeah. She's seen her and a darker counterpart and she's gone on to something else and the counterpart hasn't. And that's in any aspect do you know what I mean well you can yeah you can see that in how much longer it's taking Miss Banks than it the is end. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. the end the end but can I just say on that do you know what I feel like went wrong with that because it could have been such a perfect yeah, like, you know the like Stormzy thing created like good yeah. conversation yeah, everyone yeah, started talking about lyrics from Busy Signal and this one and that one yeah. and it, it was a good conversation because people started to feel like oh right yeah we kind of condone these kinda, lyrics yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it was a good conversation I was proud of Twitter that day but <laughs> <laughs> with the Steph thing like, it, was, it was the angry black woman come out like yeah, quick she, got so angry, she triggered everyone. people and, and I can't, you know I can't be mad at the people that was triggered because it's triggering. I remember yeah. when that Mimi girl was saying what she was saying, mm-hmm. it's triggering. Do you get me? But I feel like as a community, if we could just breathe, stretch, shake for a second yeah. and, and and come at her different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what she done was I'm wrong and strong. Defense. I never said yeah. it. Suck your mum. Yeah. That yeah, was yeah, her yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But if, if she would have got 300 tweets that said, you know what, here's why this is offensive. Yeah. And here's why you shouldn't have said it. And here's why you should own that you said did, it. Though. And create mm. a conversation. If 300 people did it in the Not same way 300 people yeah. was attacking her. Yeah. If people would have taken that approach, she might have, her ignorant ears might have turned down and she might have said, actually, let me but read I, this, let I me follow this well. and let me, not, let me not get on the timeline and start attacking people. Yeah. But I think that's because she genuinely doesn't even know that, that, you know, when someone's, it's like we're grown up and someone trying to tell me now that, oh, you're, you're not straight, by the way. You're, because she has experienced everything that's true about that statement, I don't think she's coming from a place of fuck you, suck like, like your mum. It's more of a case of no, I believe this. I'm not, it, I didn't tweet it because I don't want to offend anyone, but mm. I genuinely think she does believe yeah, that because it's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this is one thing I'm not going to, I'm not going to um, put, draw her out for it because it is true, but she's not old enough to take on the the L. Like I just yeah. did and I said, rah, like a man said, mm. she's not there yet she's to be able to be yet. like, yo, you lot, this is genuinely what I actually think. But then think. the other thing is, when, when what was the first thing that that she done? About, about the, 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 my, the sweeper. Yeah, I can't believe working, someone's working, working for someone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When that, that happened, that. I was t- I was chatting to people about it in a seminar and I, I Googled her and I drew up like the first five or six interviews and all the headlines were stuff like, you know, I'm not a role model or I'm unapologetic or I will say what I want. And it's mm. like, actually, as an artist, she's come out on that tip of, mm. I will say what I want, like 16 mm. shots to your yeah, blood yeah, cup, yeah, mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you get me? She's I will say this. Her. So, so you you kind of Steph is basically like the wrong example for us as women to champion that because she's already let us know That's I'm not for on. you like, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah. I'm for my people. I'm for my success. I'm for what yeah. I'm trying to do. So when that first thing happened, it was like, cool. We got like you've said this is who you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This time round, you're just showing us even more of who you yeah, are. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. That's and that's that. Like, you don't yeah. have to apologize. You don't have to own it. You don't have to anything because you already let everyone know from early. Yeah, I'll yeah, 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 yeah. say what I want on yeah. this God's green earth. I know. But then she should have said that then. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's but yeah, she I has. She's done enough interviews. Yeah, I hear you. When you, no, like, when you, when you put it that, when you put it like that, I hear that still. I and think Sally that was the first Exeter, thing. I think for tell me, you what, Sally and Exeter. I didn't see that tweet. She's still streaming, dingling, yeah. and yeah, yeah, sixteen yeah, yeah. shots, and yeah. all yeah. The even then there. they she wouldn't care it. anyway. No, she, she didn't see it. She didn't care. Like outside of Twitter, we're in our little bubble, music industry bubble, where we're outraged. Black Twitter, this Twitter, feminist Twitter. Outside of Twitter, do you think Sally and Exeter care? She don't care. First, she didn't know it happened. Second of all, she did. She would understand it. Third of all, she's still gonna stream and buy a Steph And as far as she's concerned, everyone's black. So what? We're not talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what are you mean? We're not talking about. So I'm saying colorism is within us, and it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's you know we're talking centuries. Yeah, yeah, so 
you know. Yeah, I can't. I'm a human being, innit? So I'm not gonna lie. I tied the two together when I see the when I saw the whole thing about the person working in Starbucks and not having no ambition, and then I see that. I tied it together and I thought, right, this is just all a bit mad. Like, I just thought that's just crazy to me. But then, yeah, I guess if someone's telling you, if someone's saying from the get-go, you know what, like, I'm going to be out here, I'm going to speak my mind. Boy, this is how I run my thing. I can't be mad at that because, mm-hmm. you know what, that's what I do. Yeah, I do that. I do that and I own everything I say. So and when I come here like and I have a conversation it. on my podcast, I'm very, I accept that there's going to be some stuff that I'm going to say that is going to upset some people. But, mm-hmm. you know, what? I just own it. And if not, I'll just, I'll, I'm willing to have a conversation about it. Mm-hmm. Tell me if I'm wrong, let me know that I'm wrong. Yeah. And then let's have a conversation about mm-hmm. it because I'm going to tell, I'm going to think in my head, no, I'm right. And I'm going to have this conversation until you tell me something that makes me think, you mm-hmm. know what? I get it still. I get it. <laughs>